Hey everybody, um, my name is Leslie Howard and I live down here in South Alabama in a little town called Satsuma and I promised a video on how I do my blending on my furniture so I'm going to attempt this video. Um, it's the first time I've ever done a video like this so wish me luck. The colors I'm going to use is my three favorite colors to blend and that's Mediterranean, Coliseum, and Naples. Um, I'm using these colors because this is specifically the colors that I have used on uh, my projects recently that I've done that everybody's commented on. Um, this is a bottle of water. This is, you've got to have this if you want to blend. This is, a, got this bottle at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. When I'm done, I'm also going to use a little bit of this, the copper antiquing, metallic antiquing on the edges. And believe it or not, this is the brush that I use most often, but it looks like it's about ready for the garbage. Um, but I also use the um, HTP um, brushes too. So, but for this, I'm going to use this one. Um, so I'm going to start with a little uh, Mediterranean. I'm going to have to hold the phone the whole time. I've got this up on my coffee table. Uh, so I'm just going to get a good decent coat on this first. As so. And when I do this too, if a little bit of the wood peeks through, especially a pretty dark wood like this, that's fine with me because it just adds to the effect. So I'm just going to do, for short video purposes, I'm going to just do the top and I'll go back and do the rest of it after uh, I finish with the top and then I'll post a picture of the whole thing. So this, this video is just strictly for the purpose of showing y'all how I do my blending. So I'm just kind of getting the ugly base coat of Mediterranean on here as so. Okay, now I'm going to put some Colosseum on here in streaks and then go from there. So I'll, sh I'll just get in the same, with the same brush and in the paint and I've just about empty on all three of these, but it's enough to do this table. So I'm just going to get a little bit of white and I'm going to do a few streaks like that on there. See how I did that? I'm going to take my water bottle, squirt it on there. And then it will just go in one direction. I'm trying to do this so y'all can see. You can go back and forth, but don't go across. So I just keep working with it till I get the look I want. And if you end up covering up too much of the uh, Colosseum, you can add, go back and get a little bit more. And so you don't want that. So you, you just have to kind of keep adding a little bit and going back over until you get it just as you want it. So I'm going to get a little bit more might have got too much, but I can put some over here. And I'll come back and blend that in a minute. So. I 
I know this isn't the best video because I'm not, I need somebody holding this for me. <clears throat> so you just kind of keep working with it until you get it how you want it. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more water so I can smooth out these uh, edges. I'm going to add bit more white didn't quite get enough but you get the general idea it's a whole lot easier really to do it on a bigger piece of furniture that don't have edges that you're trying to stay in so I like it to be leave some streaks in there I'm telling you once once it dries it looks way better and then you can come back and add more color to it or smooth it out however you whatever you know it's, it's so just just have that water bottle got a little bit more white you see how I'm gonna do that with the Naples so you see it's kind of streaky you can see the wood showing through it's not the best lighting in here I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then I can come back and work on the rough edges a little bit more. Um, you just have to keep adding a little bit more paint and a little bit more water, you know, if you don't want it to be so, so much wood showing through around the edge like that. It's hard when there's a lip you're working with. All right, so now I'm gonna get, with the same brush, I'm gonna get just a little bit of Naples. And a lot of times I'll use my lid to kind of pat on. And a lot of times I use a paper plate too. So you can get just a little bit of paint on there. And then I'll do this. Lightly dust, I guess you'd say, over it. And Naples, when you do it lightly, it really just kind of gives it a glow. It's hard to do this holding the phone and trying to look at this at the same time. I'm not going to put any Naples in the inside like that. In there. Let's see. Put a little bit more like that. Okay, see how it just kind of gives it a glow. It doesn't even look very yellow. I'm getting a little bit more Naples.
just lightly brush. You just lightly brush and blend it in so it doesn't have too many bad streaks, you know, however you want it. You know, you, you just have to kind of get your technique down pat. So that is those three colors together on this. I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to do the, I kind of like it just the top. I don't know, but I'll probably end up doing the whole thing. Um, I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to add to the video um, where I put the antiquing uh, uh, gel, the uh, copper on it. And when I do that, I use this kind of brush. You can use whatever kind of brush, but this makes it really easy. One of these little flat fan brushes. I just barely get some on it. And if you have to wipe it off on a paper plate, just get a little bit and you just kind of do like this. But um, I'll come back and do that in just a few minutes. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I went ahead and painted the rest of the table. Didn't take but a few minutes. I did the bottom shelf the same way. It's still wet. Uh, went all the way around. You can see it's still very wet. And I think I forgot to take a before picture of this table. I can't remember. But um, I think I'm going to um, go ahead and try to do the copper right here for you so you can see. And uh, once it dries, since this piece had a this lip around the top edge, um, which is hard to deal with when you're trying to do blending, um, I'm going to probably get some black wax in with a wax brush and put along the inside edge and that'll help um, cover up any little streaky parts in there where I couldn't get in there good with the blending um, and it'll make it look extra special I promise so let me get my this is the copper metallic antiquing so let me lay my phone down hold on just a second okay so I've got my little brush I've got enough inside here on the lid I'm just going to tap it in there a little bit it's blurry okay so I'm just going to do like that I might need to get some more you can see that side good This just gets just just a little bit so it's not overwhelming a little bit there and you need to throw your OCD out the window when you're doing this kind of stuff because it don't have to be perfect it looks better if it's not perfect and it's a whole lot easier and I am OCD but I have learned to let that go that's kind of dark right here So you just want to get a little bit. And that's 
about it. The Naples using it like this is really just kind of like a highlight, a good highlighter. Um, did I miss that one? Let's see. And if all else fails, you can always paint over it and start over. Don't be scared to try something new. And start small. Start on a small table or something like this. But I would not recommend anything that's got a lip in it like that. It's easier when you're doing strokes to be able to come all the way through with it to the edge. So um, I'll take a picture when it's completely dry and done and uh, post it in with the video. Um, that's it. Thanks, y'all. Bye.